Welcome to Mountain Sledder Garage. In this episode, we're going to talk about the throttle safety switch. Now, your throttle safety switch comes on a Polaris. It also comes on an Articat, and they're quite similar in both brands, so I'm going to talk about both brands in the same video. The throttle safety switch is a little switch that's built into your throttle block. It's supposed to prevent your throttle from being activated if you're not actively pushing on the throttle lever. So you don't have a situation where your throttle is being activated without you actually wanting it to be. So I'm going to show you a little video that surfaced on YouTube a couple years ago of how this can really save you. Now this video is a, of a guy who got caught underneath his snowmobile with his snowmobile going full throttle without him pushing on the lever. Now you can see him coming up the hill there, his friend's videoing this, he jumps off this little cornice, lands, falls off, his snowmobile rolls over the top of him, he gets caught underneath it, his friend sees a problem, runs over there, you can see it, his friend's caught up underneath the track, the track suck him in underneath the tunnel, he's screaming, because the track was digging into him because it was spinning full throttle. And look at his jacket, the track just tore him up. Okay, now if you want to look this video up, it's called, if you look up on YouTube, it's called Crazy Snowmobile Accident. Guy gets trapped under snowmobile while, while running. It is pretty crazy. No one would want that to happen to them. Um, but I have seen worse things happen um, with a snowmobile running that someone got caught underneath it. Now, the throttle safety switch, if your throttle cable is not adjusted correctly, as indicated in your owner's manual, your throttle safety switch isn't going to work correctly. It either is just not going to let your snowmobile start, it can make your snowmobile start, but as soon as you press on the throttle, it will cut out and quit. And there's a lot of different things that can happen if it's not adjusted correctly. Also, if the throttle safety switch is not working correctly, if there's something inside electronically that's broken, your throttle may not work at all. I've, I've give, give you a few examples that I've had over the years with the throttle safety switch being a problem. On this particular snowmobile last year, um, the throttle safety switch has been a big problem on Articats for the last few years, yeah, but not working or breaking while you're out riding. I was out riding this last year and we stopped, been, had been riding for three or four hours and went to start again. It would not start at all. We started, pulled and pulled and pulled. We pulled it apart, looked at everything, couldn't figure it out. Sat and ate lunch, went back, pulled the rope and it started right up. So the throttle safety switch can be very finicky. Um, if you can get water in it, it can get ice in it. You can get ice in the throttle block here. Make sure that's always cleaned out if you have a problem that there's no ice back here in the throttle block. That can cause the throttle safety switch problems. In my case, though, the throttle safety switch was just defective. Once it started again, we rode it. It didn't run real good for about 15 minutes and then just sh completely shut off again. The great thing about Articat is if you think that's your problem in your throttle safety switch, you can go and unplug it and it completely bypasses it. So what we're going to do now, I have the throttle block pulled off this Polaris because I've replaced it with a Munster finger throttle. And we're going to show you the kind of the inner workings of the throttle safety switch and how it works in combination with your throttle. Okay, now this is a throttle block taken off my Polaris Axis. It's a 2019. Um, I think all the axes are the same. So, now if you tore your throttle block off, what you have, you have this little pin that goes through here. That is the pin that activates the throttle safety switch. The throttle safety switch is right down inside that hole right there. And what happens, this slotted hole, when this pin moves with the throttle, it activates the throttle safety switch. Now we can actually pull the throttle safety switch out of this. This is the throttle safety switch, and so what this pin is doing in there, the pin, when you push on the throttle, it pushes that switch and activates the switch. And that's how the throttle safety switch works, is you push on the throttle, pushes that in, when you let off the throttle, lets it off. It's pretty simple circuit that activates the throttle safety switch. The Art this is a Polaris, but the Articat has a similar switch inside its throttle, that its throttle rod like this activates a switch just like this. So that's how the throttle safety switch works inside your throttle block. Now, as I told you on the Articat, you can just, if your throttle safety switch starts acting up, you can just unplug it. And I'm going to show you where to find that. On the newer Articats, on the Ascender chassis, it's pretty easy to find. You just take off the side panel here, and you go up under here, and right, this is where you feel the coolant. Right up under here, there's this gray plug. It's a two-wire plug. If you just unplug that and tuck that back under there, that bypasses your throttle safety switch. Now, when my throttle safety switch started acting up on this Articat a year ago, I unplugged it, I've just left it unplugged ever since. As long as you're using your tether, 
Your tether gives you that extra safety measure. So if you fall off your sled, it kills your engine. You don't have to worry about getting caught up in the track like that video I showed you. Now the player, so we'll come over here to this. As I replace the throttle safety switch with this Munster finger throttle, there's no throttle safety switch built into this. And on the Polaris, you can't just simply unplug it. What you gotta do, you gotta come over here in this little um, bag, all these electronics are plugged into. This is a throttle safety switch wire. And with the Polaris, you have to have one of these connectors that plugs into your plug. And right back here on this side, you can see there's a little resistor that's built into that. This is made by Munster. And for your throttle safety switch to work correctly, once you've unplugged it for your ECU to sense this correctly, you have to have this little bypass plug. You can't just simply unplug it. it your throttle won't work correctly after that if all you do is unplug it. So if you have a Polaris, you need to buy one of these. Munster sells them. Um, you can actually buy it. Munster's in Canada. If you're in the US and you want to buy one of these, I know that uh, Force Turbos has them on their website. For forty dollars, you can also there's some aftermarket guys on Snow West and some of the other forms that make these and sell them. I know some guys that are worried enough about their throttle safety switch on their players. They actually buy one of these and they keep it in their sled. So if their sled starts happening up, they think it's a throttle safety switch. They actually go in and unplug it and they just tape this into their into this little bag. And if they ever need it, they know it's in there and it's a nice little safety thing for them or they just bypass their throttle safety switch altogether. Now I'm not an advocate of that. It's there for a reason, it's a safety switch. So I would suggest using it if you can. So that's your throttle safety switch. Now, for the throttle safety switch to work correctly, you have to have the throttle cable adjusted correctly. Now on this Articat, we're gonna go back over here. You have to have what happens on your throttle safety switch, for it to work correctly, as you push on the throttle, it has to depress this plunger before it pulls on the cable, or your ECU is gonna sense that it's not pushing the throttle safety switch before it pulls the cable, and it's gonna put your sled into limp mode. And you can see this one, I'm pulling the cable before I'm really pushing the switch. And why that is, is this sled got rolled upside down and log got cut under here and it stretched this. You can see where this is stretched right here, the cable. So my cable's too tight. So I'm gonna replace this throttle cable and we're gonna to have to go in and adjust this correctly. And I'm gonna show you the correct adjustments from the owner's manuals. Of how you're supposed to have enough play in this right here that the throttle safety switch works correctly. Okay, now we're out in the trailer with my 2020 Chaos. It has a regular Polaris throttle block on it, and we're gonna adjust the proper spec, the throttle safety switch on this. Now, if you look in your owner's manual or in the service manual, this is what it shows. You want your axis throttle lever free play to be 0.25 to 0.75 millimeters, and that's the play between the block housing and the actual flipper. So what we're gonna do, see how we have we have a little bit of play in this already. I'm gonna get my, my 0.5 or half millimeter feeler gauge. I'm just gonna slide it in here. And I have a little bit of extra play. So I'm gonna tighten this by turning that counterclockwise and screwing the lot nut against it. And that's pretty close. See, so what happens now, I still have a little bit of play in there. And so it's going to start pushing, see how it pushes my throttle safety switch before this over here moves? It's activating my throttle safety switch before I'm pushing on the cable. So that's right exactly where it's supposed to be. That's how you want it to work. You want this as you push on the throttle, activates the throttle safety switch before it starts pulling on the cable. That's exactly how you want it done. When you're done, you can tighten all this down, put your rubber grommets back over that so it's not getting moisture in your throttle cable, and then you're done adjusting your throttle cable switch. Okay, now that I've showed you how to adjust the Polaris, we're going to come here, we're going to adjust our Articat. Now, I've already replaced the throttle cable. The easiest way to adjust this is with the pipe off, the hood off, so you can get to this adjustment point right here. If you are pretty talented, if you have the tin cover over this and the pipe on, you can kind of get to this if you work it out to the side, but it's a lot easier just to take the pipe off. How you measure the distance for the throttle assembly on the Articat is a little bit different than the Polaris. On the Polaris, we were measuring the distance back here. On the Articat, it's different because in the Articat's got this little, if you can see it, this little nub right here, and that's the part that contacts. That's the part we need to measure. 
So when we get our feeler gauge, we're gonna put our feeler gauge in between to those two points right there and measure right there. Not back, not back here at the back like we did on the Polaris because this part back here, because of that nub, it never, it never touches. There's always gonna be a gap right here at the back no matter what you do. So make sure you measure in the right place when you're measuring the Articat, which is right here at the nub, not, again, not back here like we did on the Polaris. When we do this, this is the Articat setup. We're going to be these measurements here, which is almost double what the Polaris measurement is. When you get back up here, the function is pretty much the same. As I move my throttle, it's moving the throttle position sensor here on the rod before it's moving the cable which is essentially the same function. And then when I, once I activate the switch, then it pulls the cable. And that's how you want it to function so you have correct function of your throttle safety switch. Again, on the Articat, you've got to come down here underneath the hood. And this is the correct place to adjust your throttle cable right here on the Articat, whereas the Polaris is up by the handlebars. So I hope this video has been helpful to help you understand the throttle safety switch a little bit more on your Articat and your Polaris and how to adjust it correctly. It can cause you a lot of fits if it's not adjusted correctly. About 10 years ago, I was at a dealership and I was back in the shop talking to one of their mechanics and they had this sled they had come in. The owner had like rebuilt the engine, put a bunch of money into it, could not get the sled running. And they brought it to the shop and the shop was like, you know, it's probably gonna cost this much money for us to look at. And the guy's like, well, I don't know if I want to, maybe you just sell it. So I, mean, I got this sled for almost nothing and I had no idea what was wrong with it. I knew it was a decent sled. I knew I could probably fix whatever it was. Um, I knew the guy had rebuilt the motor. I'd seen the receipts for the money he'd put into it. And when I got it home, or the throttle cable adjusted so tight that it, the sled wouldn't start. No matter what you did, there's no way you're going to get this thing started because the throttle cable was so tight the way he had it adjusted. So I loosened the throttle cable, sled started right up. I rode that sled for like three more years. And just because the throttle cable was just adjusted incorrectly. So it can cause a big problem if your throttle cable is not adjusted correctly. And the other thing I want to go over again, make sure if you're riding one of these new mountain sleds, you have a tether and you wear it. You have it hooked up to your body. So if you come off the sled, it kills the motor. Um, I've heard and seen of so many accidents of people not wearing their tether. They come off, sled rolls over like the video. You get pinned in there, either a leg goes in or an arm goes in. And you, heck, you can have some real damage done like that guy. He was lucky he had his buddy there to shut that thing off for him or that track would have torn into his skin. So wear a tether, don't connect, disconnect your throttle safety switch unless you have to if you're having a problem with it or like in my case, if you put a Munster finger throttle on. Anyway, I hope you have a great winter. Hope this helps you stay active in the snow, keeps your machines running well as they can and make sure you click the subscribe button on YouTube so you get more of these videos when they come available and be safe out there on the mountain from Mountain Slaughter Garage. Yeah.